click on this video, you're probably wondering why am I drinking whiskey at 12.06? The reason is, I don't know. I think it makes my throat feels better and it makes me perform better in this video. I'm not sure. But there is one setting that all Sony camera have that I just find out maybe like a month ago. And I can't believe I didn't know about this setting before, but mostly because I never shot as much as I'm shooting now with cine or vintage lenses. So if you are a running gun filmmaker shooting on a lot of cine or vintage lenses, this video is for you. For this example, we're gonna use my Sony A7S III, but this setting is in every Sony camera, at least on the one that I checked, like the ZV-E1 and my Sony A7 III, and also obviously my Sony A7S III. So I believe this setting is in every Sony camera. As I said, I'm shooting on a lot of cine lenses, and today I decided to go to a couple of spots around with my friend Johnny and shooting a bunch of skating sequences and held and show you guys what this setting is about. So we're gonna shoot on a Sony a7S III and we're gonna shoot on a 45 millimeter RX lens. It's pretty close up and it's very shallow at T1.5 and it's very hard to pull focus and just you know be stable with your hands. So you'll notice that doing these sequences, it actually doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that shaky. It just looks very nice and steady. While in these other examples, it's crazy shaky and jittery and it just doesn't look good. So what did I do? to make this look better. I always thought that the heavier the setup, the better handheld footage you get. And that is actually true, but once I started shooting cine lenses and having a monitor to master my focus and a top handle or a side handle, I just end up getting this horrible looking footage. And I was just wondering why do I get the footage like this while other people don't. So there is one setting that I found out, which it's mind blowing. So first thing first, you gotta set your steady shot to active. Then if you're using a vintage or a cine lens, you'll be able to access directly this. So underneath steady shot, you can find the settings. And here the settings are set to auto, if you're shooting on a normal lens, like a photography lens, or they're set onto manual if you're shooting on a cine lens. You can't change it to auto if it's a cine lens or a vintage lens because they're not registered. I don't know why, but this is how it is. So by default, if you switch to cine lenses and you are shooting on photography lenses, this will be on manual and the stabilization will be on eight millimeter, which is super wide. And no one wants that because who shoots on an eight millimeter anyways? So in this example, what you gotta do is take the eight millimeter and change it to 35 or 45 or whatever your vintage lens is. I definitely recommend only doing this with prime lenses because if it's a zoom, it just gets messy. You can't just remember to change the settings all the time. So for example, here we have a Helios 44.2. This is a 58 millimeter vintage lens. I love this lens. And uh, there's not 58 millimeter settings, so I would put it on 60 millimeter. But Everything I shoot nowadays, I would say 80% is on my 35 millimeters Nisi Athena, which I'm shooting it right now. So I set up as a default to 35 millimeters so that even if I do forget to change to 45 once or twice when I use a different lens or to 60, it doesn't make that much of a difference. The important part is that you take it away from eight millimeter and put it somewhere you know, in between all of your lenses if you don't want to change it all the time. On my Sony A7S III, I even set the button, the custom button three, so the top left button to be that. So whenever I swap lenses, I can simply access that and change it to whatever focal length I'm shooting in. I can't believe I didn't know this setting, but now I do. And I hope I saved some of your guys' life and footage with this because I've been shooting for a while now and just relying on warp stabilizer and be like, oh yeah, it is what it is. But, and now I finally found out that it's not how it is. There's an actual setting for it, so. Yeah, this is actually a little series that I'm making about Sony stabilization. There's a few more videos I wanna make, a few more topics I wanna cover. So if you did like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.